The Department of Information and Communications Technology and the Philippines has just been really created. It was only created last year and we're, we're only one year. And it was created to make sure that the national ICT agenda of the countries really move forward. And then why ICT statistics or even data is relevant. It's, it's how are we supposed to plan if we don't have the data or even the information. And for the past one year, I think more than one year already, we're building up on how are we going to really make sure that we have the right information, the right data, so that, so that we are able to plan ahead. And that's the reason why we're doing several initiatives in the country, like for next year, we're doing the ICT household survey. And this is going to be the first time that it's going to be a separate survey from the national surveys that, that we do, because now it's like a rider, it's like, like a one or two pages from the national household survey, but for next year it's going to be multiple uh, pages of questions that is specific to certain households. And this is going to be the first time. And we're hoping that once, once we do this, it's going to be regularly done so that we're able to come up with really uh, accurate information so that we're able to really, to really plan ahead. Now, how are we going to do this, the ICT household survey? It's actually in partnership with our National Statistics Office. Or in our country, we call the NSO, because in most countries you call it NSO, but in our country we call it the Philippine Statistics Authority. And we are doing that together with them, and it's going to be rolled out uh, nationwide. So we're hoping that we are able to come up with the results by 2019, and hopefully we can present that in a WTIS uh, 2019. It's, I think it's, uh, it's my first time to attend the WTIS. It's, uh, and I think it's the, and how are we going to understand what ICT statistics is, and especially the IDI. And unfortunately, the Philippines uh, went down by one notch this year. And uh, I was talking to my staff a while ago, and I was, I was discussing with her that I think we need to better understand what IDI is. And, in, and simultaneously, since what we're going to do the ICT household survey next year, most of the indicators that would be generated from the ICT household survey is actually part of the IDI. But we need to understand what IDI means first. And institutionally, as the ICT, I think we, under, we need to understand what IDI means for us and for the country so that we are able to, so that we are able to uh, come up really with uh, good indicators, I mean, even good plans on how are we going to move forward in terms of our run for next year and it's a good uh, learning experience because you get to see also from you get to learn from the other experiences from the other countries